Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about removing rust. There are many ways to remove rust off metal, and I think I've tried most of them. First is sandpaper. The problem with sandpaper is it's time consuming. It's difficult to get into cracks and nooks and crannies if you have them on the piece you're trying to remove the rust from. And you have to um, use a lot of elbow grease to do it. I've also used scotch Bright pads. They're not really aggressive enough. Again, they have the same problem. They're a sponge with some abrasive on the back of them, and they have trouble getting into different cracks. I've also used wire brushes, wire wheels. Uh, again, same problem, getting into certain areas of the piece. And also, it's going to abrade the surface again and remove some. The same thing with sanders and belt sanders and grinders. All have the same problem. So today we're going to try something uh, different. We're going to try what I think is the easiest way, and that's using electrolysis. As an example, this is a square I found at my local landfill. It was all rusted up, and it's a very uh, well-built one. I think it was built about the 1930s, and it uses brass uh, plugs here, uh, and it's very, uh, very strong. And after I got the rust off it, it even had the initials of the carpenter that used it. So as the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to set things up and I'm going to try to get the rust off of this thing. This is a tree saw that I left out in the woods and I couldn't find it and I recently found it and it's been out there for about a year. Uh, as you can see it's getting a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of rust on it. So we're going to try to use some electrolysis on this. Very simple process, very easy to use. It gets into the nooks and crannies and everywhere else. So let's try it, see what happens. Okay, this is the material list that you'll need. You'll need some washing soda. Sometimes it's called super washing soda and you can find that in the supermarket. You need water. Each one of these is a gallon of water. I might need two, but you need at least one gallon of water. And you mix one tablespoon of the washing soda per gallon of water. Then you'll need some clips to make the connections to the uh, electrodes that we're going to use inside here. Um, this is the tray that I'm using. It's a seed starting tray. You can use a glass tray. You can use a, a plastic bucket. Uh, you can use anything that's non-conductive as long as it's deep enough to hold the part that you're going to take the rust off of. So it's got a, the part that you have must be submerged totally in the liquid. Um, then you need some sacrificial iron. So I'm using this, which is we rod, reinforcing rod. I got at Home Depot and I just cut it up. And it's iron. You can use a coffee can, you can use steel. You should make sure that it doesn't have any coating on it. It's not painted or galvanized because it needs to uh, dissolve and sacrifice itself to get rid of the rust. And then in here we have the part you're going to remove the rust from and you have to be kind of careful of the geometry a little bit. I'm standing this up this way because the process, the chemical process, works line of sight. So I've got two of these rods on either side of the of the, the rusted part. Now <clears throat> I made one of these up for smaller parts and you can see it surrounds or it will surround a smaller part in here and that's the ideal solution. You want it to, to be uh, surrounding the, the iron, to be surrounding the part you're taking the rust off of. Okay, you also need a battery charger, but you can also use a laptop uh, power supply. Uh, the power supply for the laptop is about 12 to 16 volts will be fine and capable of about 2 amps. You don't need anything more than that. Um, so, with that said, I'll hook this up and get it ready and then I'll show you it working and how it's, uh, how it's supposed to work. So this is what the soup looks like when it's done. Uh, this is uh, two hours and the bubbles are pretty much stopped so um, I'm going to wash this off with some water and we'll see what it looks like. So here's what the blade looks like after approximately two hours in the, in the bath. Now you can see it's a lot better than it was, but 
uh, there's still some spots of rust on it and I think I did not leave it in the in the solution long enough and I couldn't really tell if the bubbles were stopping because uh, it's not a glass tray it was a plastic tray couldn't see in so I'm gonna uh, try this again the same thing but I'm gonna put it in longer and see if we can get rid of some more of the uh, the rust this is the clip what happens to the clip uh, because of the uh, electrolysis action so uh, I'm gonna try it again and uh, uh, get the right my you know my take was about two hours ought to be enough but I don't think it was so we're gonna try that again so here you can see the results after uh, five or six hours in the bath uh, there's still some rust on the uh, the blade and I think that could have been because I didn't leave it in there long enough and or the solution was used up and I didn't uh, replace it so what I did was I came up with something I think that is much easier that I've seen people do and that is the following this is a five gallon bucket I put together and you can see here that I have a re-rod uh, iron uh, re-rod around the edges it's held to the bucket by tie wraps and it's connected each one's connected with an acorn connector right here and number 12 wire to every every one of them this will make it much easier to fill and uh, empty the solution uh, I had a lot of problems with it before in that uh, plant container so I'm gonna try this I'm gonna fill this up with the solution put it in there again I'm gonna hang it from the <clears throat> top the other advantage this has is none of the electrodes will be uh, underwater the connectors uh, just the iron re-rods and uh, I'll hang the, the the blade across the middle here using a piece of wood uh, like that so I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know how that works out okay here's my uh, bucket and I'm gonna uh, I had this the blade suspended here and the thing I like about this is there's no copper wires or um, contacts from the clips the battery charger clips touching the solution or in, in, in the solution so let's take a look at, uh, at how it did and all I can say is wow a lot better now the only difference I made besides this bucket was to put the battery charger initially on 10 amps the 10 amp setting it had a 2 amp and a 10 amp setting and I would recommend I would recommend that because this has been in about an hour and a half and after the first hour and a half it made a lot of progress this is a uh, black oxide on this section here I hardly see any rust at all and I think this is this black oxide will come out come off very easily with a, with a brass brush so I think it's very successful even the even the teeth are cleaned of rust and uh, as I said the black oxide is normal and I think part of the reason was uh, was all the surface area of the sacrificial iron that I had in here uh, much bigger surface area and you can see there's a lot of a lot of crud in there uh, also I, I've heard and I've seen where this can be used for 24 to 48 hours so you may want to keep it on longer depending on the level of rust you have and how big a piece it is but it works it's it's cleaned off uh, uh, all the rust on this and this has been like I said about an hour and a half okay so uh, let's wrap up and I'll give you a summary okay so what did I learn actually I learned quite a bit about this experience uh, first of all don't try to get rust off of stainless steel it'll produce chlorine gas and that's something you don't want to deal with use adequate vent ventilation make sure you have a ventilated area or use it outside also for the mixture uh, I would recommend using one to three tablespoons of washing soda per gallon also to maximize the amount of iron or sacrificial anode uh, you saw all of those re-rods around the circumference of my bucket 
Uh, I think the bucket was very effective. It's easy to fill, it's easy to empty. It takes about four to four and a half gallons and it's uh, very effective. Also, I would start with the battery charger set at 10 amps. It seems to be way more effective and much faster than the 2 amp setting I had the battery charger on. Uh, leave the tool in that you're trying to remove the rust anywhere from one hour to two days depending on the size of the part and the piece. After you get finished, expect to have black oxide on the part that you remove the rust from. The black oxide replaces the rust on the tool. You can remove the black rust with a scotch pad or a brass uh, brush. I don't think I'm going to do that because I think the black oxide affords some um, rust protection itself. But in either case, whether you leave it on or take it off, you should coat the tool in either oil or give it a wax coating to prevent further rust. Okay, if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of this method. I think it really works well. Uh, you just got to get the hang of it and uh, I, I think it's, it's real quick, it's much faster and you can just leave it on and walk away for a while and come back. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe.